everyone welcome back to the channel i'm mike pretty sim and today we're going to talk a little bit about fs desktop and how to set it up so you can use the beyond atc ui panel in vr because i read on the uh, several discord servers and also in the comments uh, underneath my video that some people have trouble with the click spots in the ui panel that they cannot click anything uh, or that cockpit uh, click spots are not working so basically that's all depending on how you set up uh, fs desktop and use it with uh, microsoft flight simulator first of all you have to run microsoft flight simulator like i have here in a windowed mode not full screen but you have to if you're running fs desktop use it in the windowed mode it's all in the uh, description of FS desktop that you can find on the uh, GitHub page. If you're using two monitors, you can use the second monitor with all the, uh, the apps that you are running and keep the simulator like this, like I have now. If you're using one monitor, you might wanna make it a little bit smaller and then use the empty space here for, let's say, beyond ATC and it also only has to be a little bit on the desktop if it's partly visible it will work but the uh, the window that you want to see in FS desktop has to be open not minimized it has to be open so but I'm using two monitors and uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, exactly the same as for one monitor and uh, when you start up FS desktop now slide it in here what you want to do is uh, get the in-game panel scaling that's for your when you are in VR I have it at 250 percent and I can make it smaller uh, also in VR but I'll keep it at around 200 to 250 percent now get your input speed and this is slowest, this is slow, this is medium, this is fast, this is fastest. I keep it here on medium. Um, if it doesn't work, you can go to slow. This is recommended for Windows 11 users. Or even slowest. And that's, uh, if it's really not working, try slowest. But for me, medium is working. And I'm using Windows 11. All right. Now, your desktop DPI settings. I'm using the Flight Sim on a uh, 1080p monitor. And so I got the desktop DPI settings at 100%. And you can read it down here. Um, if clicks from FF Desktop miss the intended target and your desktop runs at a DPI scale of more than 100%, set your DPI scale here. If it doesn't work, check invert box and try again. For me, this works 100%. Um, always on top, float desktop, window always on top. If you encounter issues when trying to control apps with FS desktop, you may activate this option to float FS desktop server window, this window here, this one, uh, on top. When this option is active, the FS desktop server will automatically collapse when it loses focus. And then also input processor privileges, run input processor as administrator. That's what I have set here in the settings panel. So when I click next to it, you see, it gets smaller, but it floats on top all the time. So for me, my FS desktop is on my second monitor. When I click back on here, I get it bigger again. So for me, this, this one runs on the second monitor and I just place it somewhere in the corner and uh, it doesn't bother me. All right, so once we set that one, we we'll just put it somewhere there and make it smaller. All right, now, of course, we want to get this panel 
in VR on FS Desktop. All right, let's get it off the screen again. Now, first, window uh, the flight simulator must be in windowed mode and on DirectX 11. That's very important because when you're using DirectX 12, the sim will crash. Um, so this uh, this app, the FS Desktop, it's written for DirectX 11. The same with the um, little Navmap VR panel. It only runs with DirectX 11. So change that one in your settings. Restart the sim if you were on uh, DirectX 12. And run the sim with uh, DirectX 11. It works, for me, DirectX 11 works the best. So I keep it that way. Now, if we go in here and you installed it correctly, go to FS Desktop, open the panel, and you get the window picker or the viewer. So, window picker beyond ADC, and here you get it. You get the window. Now, up here in the uh, menu icon, set the image quality to high. It's a little bit big now. Well, I can show you that in uh, in VR as well. High refresh rate slow and the background for me is black. You can't see it right now because it's uh, a little bit too big. Maybe I'll uh, make this one a little bigger. You might want to see it. Oh, there we go. You see high, slow and background black. You can make it white, but I don't like white in VR. I like it black. All right, so now close this window and then we're going to jump into VR. All right, so now we are in VR. You can see in the uh, Cessna Caravan. And uh, you might have heard that my uh, my voice has changed because that's with OBS with a uh, equalizer plugin that I changed the voice as, as, as if it is in a uh, headset. All right, so let's start up FS Desktop. It's right up here. If you can't find it, go to the options menu here and then choose FS Desktop. Right, so now I can see everything. I can see myself here in OBS, but let's go to Beyond ATC. So here we are. And all the clicks box uh, spots work. So also here with this one, high, slow, and the background is black. If I click on the uh, headphone here, you just one click and then you wait about a second and it will it will show up. If you use your mouse scroll wheel, that will work as well. Not instantly, just have to wait a little while. You see the mouse coming when, the, when I'm doing that because it's switching from uh, to, to the app. So there's a little bit of a delay in here. All right, so. Click the cross and it's gone. Click. Settings page. Click. Back. All right, now let's put some power on the aircraft. So I click in here. I want to go to the ADIS. There we go. Information Hotel. 19025 Sulu. Wind 050 at high temperature 16. The wind 12. QNH 1023. Landing and departing runway 05. Transition level 030. Bird activity in vicinity of airport. Advice on initial contact you have information hotel. Right, now we go to clearance. You see it already changed it. That's the auto tune radio. So it changed it. So let's uh, ask for an IFR clearance. I have the flight plan loaded to uh, Eindhoven Airport here in the Netherlands. We are at Lelystad. So our call sign is Papa Hotel Golf Romeo Alpha. And we're going to request an IFR clearance to uh, Eindhoven Airport. So I have the uh, press to talk button triggered to my uh, Alpha yoke. You can do in the uh, options menu. Lelystad Clearance, Papa Talk Golf Romeo Alpha, ready to copy IFR Clearance to Eindhoven Airport. 
There we go. Papa Hotel Golf Romeo Alpha, Lady Stop Delivery, expect runway 05, Rune 1 Lema Departure. Stroke 1 0 0 0. Taxi to runway 15, Rune 1 Lima Departure, Stroke 1 0 0 0, Papa Hotel Golf Romeo Alpha. Papa Hotel Golf Romeo Alpha, rate back correct. Contact Tower 135 decimal 18 when ready for start or taxi. Uh, that's a typical Dutch uh, things. And if you want to use the uh, acknowledge instruction, you just click here. Tower 135 decimal 18 when ready, Papa Hotel Golf Romeo Alpha. So as you can see with these settings, it just works. There's nothing to it. Connected to SIM, always on top is, is off. And this works. And now if you just want to place it somewhere, and I can make this one smaller. Go in here, and I'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, I can resize everything here. In here, I can bring it to me, or uh, and I just can put it somewhere here, so where it's easy to read. And uh, not <laughs> directly in the view right here, or you can place it somewhere here, or here, or on the yoke. So as you can see, it works. Uh, make sure you update to uh, 5.0. That's the latest one. You can download that if you already had one uh, for FS Desktop. Download it from the uh, GitHub page. The update, and with these settings, it just works. So, if it works for me, it probably will work for you as well. And I can also change anything here in the cockpit. It all works. You see? The switches work. Sometimes it's in front of something else and then that doesn't work. But with these settings, everything will work. If you can't reach the switch, just place it out of the way. And go to the switch and then it surely will work all right guys so this was just to show uh how to set up fs desktop for the sim make sure you run the sim in windowed mode direct x 11 and then set the settings for fs desktop on uh, medium and then all, tick all the other boxes let it float on top and at administrator privileges in here it's high refresh rate slow and black we don't need a fast refresh rate we need the slow refresh rate so it doesn't take any performance of the sim And that should do the trick. If you have one monitor, make sure you run with, with, uh, Flight Simulator in the Windows mode. Make it a little bit smaller. Make sure the apps that you're running, especially for Beyond ATC, that it is partly showing on the desktop. Preferably full or uh, completely, but if it's partly showing on the desktop, that will work as well. Because if you minimize it, let me show you for a minute. So I'm clicking out here. Now I'm gonna minimize beyond ADC. Stop out. I'm gonna minimize beyond ADC. I'm going back in here. And guess what? It's not showing here. See? I only got OBS running now here. Beyond ATC is not showing. Now I'm going to put it back. And I'm going back in here. I click on here. Get the window. And now it's Beyond ATC is here again. And I can make it smaller. I hope you found this helpful. If it's still not working for you, I'm sorry. I don't have a solution. You can always go to the uh, Discord page for FS Desktop. 
uh, the developer is uh, very active there and likes to um, he's always coming back very very quick with a response or a solution uh, so try this if it's not still not working go to the uh, discord page ask for help there this is what works for me and uh, hopefully it will work for you as well right all right guys so this was mike 30 sim and i uh, hope you enjoyed this video about the settings for your fs desktop and um, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel it will help grow the channel and also with the uh, algorithm of youtube well anyhow you will find this video anyhow anyway so thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video bye